Hello everyone, this is Northwind here, and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a one-shot right now. Uh, we're going to check out a game. It's a web-based coding type game uh, designed to teach you how to program, uh, and it's called Code Combat. So uh, let's get started here. Okay, so first things first, it looks like we're going to be uh, selecting a level. We're going to start with the first level here. Now this game. Win. Whoop, yeah, we got two different characters: uh, Captain Anya Weston Not a problem. and Sir Theron Thunderfist. Uh, I think For we're gonna stick win. with Captain Anya Weston. Uh, she is uh, uh, six meters per second, a little bit faster. Of course. This guy is also six meters. He's got a lot of health, a lot of damage. Death and destruction. Look, uh, looks like it's about the same. You know what? We're going to go with her. She's a no-nonsense leader. There we go. And we are going to try to learn Python. You do have the ability to learn JavaScript, CoffeeScript, Lua, I don't know, that kind of thing. All right. Double-click on boots to equip them. And this gives you the ability to move. Move down, left, right, and up. Okay, well, let's get started. Code combat. All right, we're gonna avoid the spikes, collect the gems. Bonus if there's no code problems. Now I should tell you, it's a little bit loud. I'm gonna turn off For the sound the here. Win. Grab the treasure. Grab the treasure. Okay. You can the, use these methods. These are the methods that we have to use. Now methods are kind of like. Type uh, your code on the right. Actions that we can use. So. Okay. So we're going to get rid of that. So in order to continue, we need to move down and then move right. So we're going to be referring to ourself. Maybe if I spelled things correctly. Dot, move, down. And then because we know we're going to have to move right, let's just go ahead and do that. Now this should take us right to here, down to here, right to here, and we're going to collect this gem. And there shouldn't be any problems with the code, so let's go ahead and run it. Right, down, right, collect it. Novesty. All right, now we're good. And we have the bonus, no code problems. Okay. So a level. 26 gems here. Okay, now gems I think you can use to buy additional items. Uh, in this case, uh, let's see here. It costs 50 to get this tarnished bronze blessed breastplate and 47 for workers gloves. And that's if we want to play a warrior. Playing a ranger, we could use uh, the leather coal chainmail and this is a wizard. And there's just secondary items. Unholy tome. Okay. I think it might be fun to play as a wizard, so I think that may be the direction that we're headed. We've got a ways to go before we can do that. I'm assuming that this first level is a uh, ring of speed. Well, I certainly don't have 2,900 gems. I think we're going to eventually try to go with a wizard here. This is the second level. What do we have here? Looks like we have a, a belt, scabbard, and sword. It gives you a little bit of extra health. We're going to equip that, and we're going to play. Avoid the spikes, collect the gems, no code, code combat. problems. Okay. That's a very good tip. Anytime you have a problem, Google it. Okay. I do apologize if the sound is a little bit off here. Uh, I don't have a... Oh, what do we got here? Okay. Well, we definitely want to go down, so... Self dot move down. And we're going to want to move up after that. And we'll move up again. 
and then we will move right and that should collect all of them so let's see here move down whoop there's a code error right there right I don't see any other problems so we're gonna move right down up up right all right let's take a look move right Ooh, we're moving a little bit slow right now um, bog down move down move up move up again move right okay and that is the end of that level Ooh, it's like Ooh, a little bit more Let's take another look at those items, see if we can afford anything. We have 55 now, which means that if we were playing a warrior, we could get the breastplate. But I'm still fairly certain I want to play a wizard here. That's additional health. Also additional health. Also additional health. Alright, well I think the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to try to get 87 here to do this. Probably not in this video, I'm just going to do one more. Evade the Ogre. Okay. Uh, we don't have any additional items, so we're going to go ahead and play. Avoid the spikes. Collect code all combat. the gems. Stay out of sight of the Ogre. That's a new one. No code problems. Okay. So here's the Ogre here. So my guess is that we cannot go across this way because then he'd see us. So we're gonna have to go up, right, down, right. So let's start by moving up. And then going right. And then moving down. and then going right again. Now forgive me if I do end up making typos when I'm typing my code in here. Um, when I learned programming in school, we focused on Java, and I keep sometimes wanting to put these here. Kind of wanted to learn Python for a while, so uh, yeah, let's take a look and see if this works. Pretty sure it will. Make sure there's no typos in my code. Oh. All right. Move right. Okay, up, right, down, right, okay, and we're good. That brings us up to level four. Ooh. All right, so we gained another 29 gems, an extra little bit of experience, and you know what? Let's do one more, because why not? Still no additional items. This should be enough at the end of this level. Okay, your hero must survive. Code Collect combat. all four gems. Get to the exit. No code problems. Bonus if you can do it in under nine statements. Okay. All right. Okay. Must stay alive. All right, so what we're gonna do, less than nine. So we're gonna go right, like we have much of a choice. Okay. Then, let's see, that's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's our plan. First we're going to move up, and I know you can hit enter here, but I'm just kind of getting into the, uh, getting into the habit of actually, this. okay, we're going to move right, move right again, move down, move down again, up 
and then moving right to get to the exit. Now that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure hope it's not counting by line numbers, because if it is, I'll have to get rid of this. This is actually known as a colophon. It's a, a comment. These are not actually run when you're doing the code. It's just basically to let you know what the code that you're writing is supposed to do. Nice thing to get in the uh, get in the habit of using just for documentation's sake. There are actually things that you can use that'll compile all of these and turn them into nice documentation for you. So yeah, let's just take a quick look here, make sure that there isn't any typos. Uh, nope, looks all good to me. Let's go for it. Right. Up. Right. Right again. Down. Down. Up. Right. And we're good. Success. With all of the uh, goals done, collected all four gems, got to the exit, no code problems, and eight statements. I'm actually curious if you could do this less. Could you actually do it so that you moved right twice in only one line? I don't know. Maybe they'll let us know later on. Okay. We're going to complete here. See how many gems we get. How much experience we get. We get a simple sword. Okay. Alright. Not quite enough to get to fifth level. But there you go. Alright. This is the uh, true names level. We're not going to do that right now. We're going to go into items here and we're going to see... Uh, what else we can do? We have 111 gems. Primary. Beginner's Wand. Alright, 4 DPS. This is the simple sword. It is 12... Ooh, this is a lot faster to do that. You know what? I think the first time, maybe Wizard's pushing it as far as what we're going to do. So we're going to stick with with uh, Warrior. But that's going to have to wait for another episode. Let me know if this is something that you guys would like to see me play. Uh, it is a very... It's fun. It does teach you quite a bit. And it teaches you through actually performing the actions, which will help it stick in your brain. Um, this is something that you can try out yourself. It's a... It's available right now, web application. Just go to www.codecombat.com, set up your profile, and you can play a few levels anonymously if you'd like to try it out. Yeah. So that does about does it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah. Have a great day, guys. Bye now.